Almost three months after her death, people gathered to remember the first lady of the port of Baltimore. Helen Bentley died at the age of 92, but as ABC 2 News' Jeff Hager tells us, her legacy will live on forever. She spent most of her life battling on behalf of the port of Baltimore, and today, fittingly enough, people got a chance right here at the port to offer their final farewells to the unforgettable Helen Delich Bentley. A tugboat delivered her ashes at the port which bears her name, and Governor Larry Hogan offered highlights of Helen Bentley's life, from maritime journalist to congressional power broker, all on its behalf, making herself as tough as the male-dominated industry she championed. But Helen was tough as nails, and she would never, ever back down from any fight. Uh, one time during a convention in Philadelphia, when a longshoreman hurled an insult at her, Helen famously responded by throwing a punch at the guy. A feisty spirit in her own right, Senator Barbara Mikulski recalled the time when she and Bentley took on a colonel with the Army Corps of Engineers. By the time Helen and I were ready to jump over the table, the colonel picked up the phone, called the general, the head of the Corps of Engineers in Washington, and said, I've got Bentley and Mikulski in this room. We've got to give them what the hell they want, or you have to transfer me to a war zone. I will be happy facing nuclear weapons than these two gals. A longtime friend, David Blumberg, represented Bentley's family at the memorial, also recalling her no-nonsense style. From our first meeting in 1971, when I applied to be her intern at the Federal Maritime Commission, her first question of me was, what candy-ass private school do your parents pay for? <laughs> in recent years, Bentley remained actively involved in the port's affairs, refusing to back down. The head of the state's port administration, James White, recalled a telephone call from the Transportation Secretary's office six years ago. Helen ticked somebody off. They instructed me to terminate her consulting contract with the port. The first vision I had was laying on the floor, a five-foot-two woman standing on my chest, saying, go to hell, Jim. Bentley won that battle as well. And for all of the laughs and memorable moments, her legacy reached well beyond the port she loved so much. Petrolite, shine upon you as you let the light of God shine upon so many people in this area, so many families with roofs over their houses, food on their tables, children with books and schools to learn from, employment for their old age retirement. Helen, you've done the work of God. God bless you. Amen.